What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrano One, your host here. Welcome to my walkthrough, Silent Assassin suit only, for episode two of Hitman, the 2016 new release. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this. Thank you guys for those of you that watched the live stream as I went through that blind. So if you want to watch that, how I figured out how to accomplish some of the kills that you're gonna see in this video, you can go check that out on the channel as well. So we're gonna be playing Mission World of Tomorrow. Very fun mission, huge missions, lots of things to do in this mission, many ways to complete it. This is in no way a speed run, I'm not going for score, I'm just going to show you a, a method that you can come up with, or maybe you can come up with something even better, of how to achieve Silent Assassin with only your suit. So we're going to get in here, we are not going to take any weapons, because we do not need these weapons, we're going to be doing this with using the method of fiber wire. Instead of using the Italian suit, we're gonna go with our signature suit, since this is a suit only, and I feel that that is the definition of suit only. I'm gonna keep that going on. We do want to have, uh, we don't really need any coins either, so instead of that, we're going to use the lock pick. And we're gonna start in the main location. With that being said, we're going to play the briefing, and then we'll head straight into the mission. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, Sinistrain01 on Twitter and Twitch, as well as Facebook. Follow me there. Thanks to my patrons out there for helping me to create these videos. Hopefully you guys will get something out of this, and hopefully you will enjoy. Sit back, relax, and it's go time. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Again, we are not going to be rushing too much, but uh, we, do, uh, we do have a lot of things to do in this video. So to get started, obviously, since this is suit only, we are very limited to the ways that we can kill. Because we have to hide all bodies, we have to do it silent and stealthy, and of course that means we have to get up close and personal. So with that being said, the best way and the only way that I know of that you're going to be able to get into the labs and do it without being seen is this way. You have to get the laptop dongle so that you could actually take out the laptop instead of actually going to the decontamination area. Um, so in order to do that, you've got to follow this objective. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been seven days since my last confession. Speak, child. Yesterday, I, um... I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and a man lost his life. A good man. 
Someone I knew. He was... It was just a tiny little slip up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel more, and I want to pay my respects. Say how sorry I am. An accident at the Ether Lab has claimed the life of a scientist. His body is currently stored at the town morgue, and a guilt-ridden colleague plans to visit there to pay her respects. Between them, these two have everything we need to infiltrate the field lab. All right, so if you were smart like me, we came in with a lockpick. Uh, if you do not have a lockpick because you didn't sure. get it in the first uh, Paris mission, you can actually get it from in that room right there, but I won't be needing it. As we have our lock, trusty lockpick with us. I got a feeling today is going to be very busy. I, I don't know why, but I just absolutely love this guy's voice. Good for business. So we are just currently waiting. There's no rush because it's going to take a little bit of time um, uh, in order to uh, to do what we need to do. Once he will move, so you just got to be a little bit patient. This is the easiest way to get in without causing any alarms. You know, we're just here browsing uh, beautiful caskets for our beautiful great-grandmother who passed away. Amazing woman. Lovely till the day she died. Now, it's always different. Like, this time, he's taken a little bit longer to do what, um, to do what he does. So, there he goes. I prefer to wait out here. You could actually hide in the casket over there inside. It's a little bit faster, but I find this more hilarious because everybody passes me and I feel like this is from Hitman Blood Money. I feel like there are so many little nods to all the Hitman games in this level alone. And this is obviously from the final mission of Hitman Blood Money right here where he's uh, playing dead. You do not want to move just yet. And of course from Hitman 2. You've got the Padre. I find it funny too how if you look, there's not a door emblem on where he just entered. Like as you can see, there's a door to the right, there's a door all the way to the other side, but there's not one right there. So here we are just waiting for him. As soon as he turns around, we're good. We do have to subdue her in order to grab the dongle. There's no pickpocketing, unfortunately. Is that humans? I also found another little thing that you can do. You can actually bypass her conversation altogether if you take her out when she's in the confessional. However, Entering it will kill her instead of knock her out no matter what you do. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Don't worry about that guy, you know, as soon as you exit that place, you're fine. As his back is to you. So we're going to be heading over all the way over there. But in order to get there, we need to go through our safe room because it's, it's kind of like a little back passageway into the mansion. And with suit only, uh, the very the easiest way to get in there. But I don't even know if... I'm, I mean, obviously there's other ways to get in there. But this is going to um, have the, uh, the best chance for you to get to your objectives and what you need to do. But still very challenging. So this is our safe room. We already have a key for it. Or you could use a lockpick. The key is automatic. You can also pick up the golf ball. The exploding golf ball if that's your... Uh, the challenge you want to complete. And we're going to head on to now the stealthy part. So I find a lot of variables can happen in this because it's not always the same. So we're going to adjust ourselves for those variables. First variable is this camera. Obviously, these guys on the left, you, mean, you need to hurry. You see the camera up ahead. Stay as far to the left as you can. And even though it did see me, um, we still should be good to go. 
it, it's it's random actually. Like sometimes it won't see you, and sometimes it will. I, I don't under, I don't understand how that works, but uh, we can erase the evidence, so we're, it's not a problem. And I'm I'm glad that the game gives you the opportunity to erase the evidence. Because uh, normally you'll be able to sneak by that camera, so you'll probably be able to sneak by it. But sometimes it does see you. And it doesn't move. It stays stationary. Alright, so here. I'm going to hop in here and grab the VHS. Now the VHS is for a specific reason. I'm going to go back the same way we came. You don't have to. You can go the other way too, but this one's a little faster. Alright, so our target's going to be coming in here. You want to already have this VHS tape playing. Which is... Hilari hilarity is going to ensue. Alright, he's on his way. Just, uh, I'll let you guys listen. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear. So most likely you're going to have to take out one guard here too, because he blocks the way. The funny thing is he's talking about 47, so I'll let you listen. Forty-seven ways. <laughs> I love that. Target down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. So hide the body. See, you're not going to be able to take him out. This is what makes it a little bit more difficult because he just doesn't give you the opportunity to take him out. So what you're going to have to do is uh, go around, which is much harder. Because he stays there the whole time. Alright, so I'm looking for a coin. It might be a good... You're just going to have to kind of wait. Unfortunately, there are no coins to pick up. Coins all over this place, but there's just none in this specific section. And we don't have anything to pick up, therefore we have... I guess we could try maybe the sound system. Alright, we don't have much... Uh, we don't have too much longer to wait when... when that guy enters, so... You just gotta be a little patient. The best thing that we could have done would probably be take him out earlier, like as soon as he was passing us before we took out the main target. Other than that, if you just look here, it just stands there and without a whistle button or a distraction button, you know, you really can't do anything.
show you. Just gotta wait. Just couldn't get the proper angle on him. All right, he's gone. All right, make sure we go upstairs, not down. We gotta go back to where we were. This is just one of many ways, guys. Remember that. Not a specific, you know, best way to do this. All right, so we're gonna grab this pipe here, and we're gonna go over to our next target. Now, I don't know exactly where she is as far as in her... We might be okay. Alright, so she's all the way over there, which means she's going to take a little bit of time. So it's just like one of those things where if the two guards don't follow... Okay, oh, ooh, nice. Perfect timing, actually. You got lucky there. That is Francesca DeSantis. So all you have to do is wait for her to do the rounds. Once she gets to a specific location, you'll be able to take her out. I like the difference in sound when you open it and when you close. And the the the, the noise, the air you hear. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So once she gets right in front of you, he is gonna move and you need to take her out very quickly because you don't have a lot of time. Okay. There's the safe combination if you uh, want to go that route. Alright, easy exit to get downstairs now. All you gotta do is go down these stairs. You should have a clear... Well, not too clear. You gotta wait on this guy, but it should be okay. Just don't run. All right, guys, we're up to the last section now. I remember correctly. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. Make sure you climb down if he's in that location, then it should be fine. But we need to erase first the uh, the cameras. Just in case. As all good spies do. Believe it or not, he will not see you here. Although it still scares me every time I do it. All objectives complete. Now head towards an exit. Oh, was that so close. Guys, that was awesome. And we have done it. 
What what a way to uh, to finish that in the end there. Some real true stealth right there. Eat the securities in the dark about the incident. I feared the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. ICA did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. I'll take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Very impressed with the way the cinemas look. Although I wish there was more. Not too many. Alright, well there we go. Challenge completed. Silent Assassin suit only. Mission accomplished. A few hiccups here and there, but we were able to work like a true 47 would and overcome anything. And uh, that's how you gotta do it. Obviously, there are going to be quicker routes, there's going to be better methods, you know, you're going to see better versions of this on YouTube by other people. That's 100% fine, but this is just, you know, my uh, my version of it, just like uh, right after playing it, right? So I haven't had the time to master this yet, so obviously there's going to be more uh, points I'll be able to get, uh, a better rating I'll be able to get, and all that. But I figured that this was good enough. Unfortunately, we did get seen by the camera, but it is a random thing. Like, there's, there was times I got through there without getting seen by the camera, and it, and it doesn't really move. It just stays stationary if you actually look at it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and of course, I will see you with plenty more Hitman Episode 2 videos. Peace out.